Have you ever walked out of a building on a sunny day and had an uncontrollable urge to sneeze? If you answered yes, like me, you likely suffer from a strange genetic condition that has remained unexplained by medical science for millennia. And if you answered no, you probably have no idea what I'm talking about. Sun sneezing, as it's more commonly known, is a medical condition called the photic sneeze reflex. Another name that some have given is... Hold on. Before we get into all that, this is Dr. Louis Potacek, a neurologist and human geneticist at the University of California, San Francisco. Okay, go ahead. Another name that some have given is autosomal dominant compelling helioophthalmic outburst or ACHU syndrome. But PSR is really the appropriate name that we should all use. Photic sneeze reflex is a tendency to sneeze when suddenly exposed to bright light. And as strange as that may sound, it's more common than you might think. I estimate that about 1 in 10 or 10% of all people have this condition. So a lot of us are affected, but how and why it happens is not fully understood, despite the fact that humans have been pondering it for thousands of years. In 350 BC, Aristotle posed the question, why does the heat of the sun provoke sneezing? Aristotle was barking up the wrong tree though. This doesn't make sense because heat in and of itself doesn't cause sneezing. Some 2,000 years later, the philosopher Sir Francis Bacon also tried to figure it out. His theory was that light from the sun caused your eyes to water, which then seeped into your nose, triggering a sneeze. It's an interesting thought, but it doesn't make a lot of sense. PSR occurs almost instantaneously, and it takes uh, longer for the tear ducts to react. Furthermore, tears don't cause sneezing. Uh, there's no evidence for that. So modern medicine has come up with its own theories, and it has to do with the wiring in your head. Sneezes are triggered typically by irritating things in our nose. And these are detected by a nerve, the trigeminal nerve. And right next door to the trigeminal nerve is the optic nerve. You may have heard of this one. The optic nerve is stimulated by bright light and sends electric signals to the brain. Some of that signal can be picked up by the trigeminal nerve and misinterpreted by the brain as an irritation in the nose. Which triggers, you guessed it, a sneeze. Well, that's the theory anyway. Photic sneeze reflex is not a disease. Consequently, the medical community hasn't paid a whole lot of attention to it. Therefore, we know very little about what causes it. But Dr. Patacek believes that understanding PSR could potentially shed some light on more serious conditions. Epileptic seizures can be caused by strobing lights. Migraine headache is precipitated by light. If we can understand what the mechanism is that leads to PSR, this may give insights into other conditions which actually are medically important and represent disorders. So there you have it. This 2,000-year-old medical mystery may be worth solving after all. <laughs>